Hello and welcome everyone back to Kerbal Space Program. I have terrible news. Um, well, it's not terrible for Valentina, but it's terrible for you guys. There was a mistake while recording and we lost all the footage for YouTube. So, I'm just going to explain what happened. We landed a second rocket with Janlo and we had them rescue valentina kind of but now they're both there and the dark side of the moon's gonna flip around again and they're both gonna be in trouble so we need to come up with a solution to keep them both safe when it gets dark we need to basically make a container that can hold two kerbals and has enough electrical capability to keep them both alive um easier said than done so we're going to need a this is a twin seater so this is definitely what we're going to need to use for this now it's not going to come back to Kerbin, but i'm still going to throw an emergency shoe on it just because you know you never know when something's going to go really wrong Guess we just add the next stage now. I'm just praying I didn't forget anything super important. I don't think I did. Let's go ahead and get the next stage. Uh, where's the larger one? I think this is the next one up. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get some big boy liquid fuel tanks not that big okay let's save let's launch we'll see what happens we have a lot of thrust on this bad boy. Um, we're actually going to go into orbit of Kerbin first this time. We're not going to do a straight shot to the moon. Okay, SAS on, and let's just make sure everything is fine and that I haven't forgotten anything from her. We have life support, we have an ability to land. I don't know, looks good to me go for oh yeah just just enough okay here we go through the atmosphere really slowly moving onward here we go through the atmosphere I can feel the atmos of fear okay so we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going beautiful is all the way plants rotating we're getting a bit of free drag here and all we have to do is once we're at about I think 10,000 we're going to go 45 degrees it's gonna be beautiful Wow that that did a lot that did a lot for us okay Let's eject that stage. Let it float away. Beautiful, beautiful. Good work so far. Okay. Now we can kill most of this using the last of our fuel. 450 meters per second not terrible I mean it's a little bit but we can handle it burn 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 we're gonna pull this into an orbit of the moon nice 
And now we are out. We get two. Ah, oh, shut up. I know that we have a problem. We're gonna fix it once we have crew that can fix it. Okay, fantastic. Next stage. This thing's gonna have a lot of Delta V, so I'm not really too concerned at all. I'm gonna be honest. This is this is going really smooth. Just bring this side down a lot. And we're gonna do the same with the other. Get really close. And we're moving about the same speed as this satellite. So maybe, I don't know, hopefully we don't pass it too far. We need to have an approach where we have at least one relay. Like right now we're using them as a relay, but we need them to be like over here while we're over here, which actually looks like what's going to happen just happens to be saving us. Thank you, Mr. Satellite. I think you are actually going to be exactly what we need. Guys, this is why you put as much as you possibly can in orbit. It makes life really easy when you've got satellites all over the place to help you out in the future. And fuel reserves. Don't forget fuel reserves. Okay. Save. Save and pray. This guy is going to do the job and keep us connected long enough to land. Fantastic. Oh boy. It's really good we put those satellites up on the prior mission. This would have been an absolute mess if we hadn't. So once we're about here-ish, we're going to begin landing maneuvers immediately. Landing. Landing maneuvers. Extend legs. There they are. Oh wow, we're actually gonna have this right on the nose. Let's slow down our landing a little bit so we don't completely like miss them. Wow, that was actually kind of impressive. I have no clue how we pulled that off so close. Whew. We're gonna turn on the lights for actually, no, that's just a waste. Okay. We're falling rather quickly. We're going to kill our vertical velocity. And we've successfully done that. Now it's all horizontal. And we're passing right over our friends over here. So we're going to slow ourselves horizontally now. Trying our best to land this as close as possible to our already existing base. This is going to be pretty close, actually. I think most of our distance is actually from being in the air. We, we, we got this very, very close. Nice. Good, good job on our part here. This honestly could have gone much worse. Uh, this is this is a pretty clean moon mission. We've run into basically no issues. Wow, I I am actually surprised at how well this went. Come on. Land, you beautiful rocket. Come on.
and we almost have touchdown Forty meters, thirty meters, twenty, ten, none. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, we have successfully landed on the moon. Spike being cocky. We never would have, oh, we're gonna hop over them. That's a little bit risky. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We've made a triangle. The superior shape. We've done it, guys. Okay. Now we just have to get, uh, what's his name? Janlo. Janlo, get out of there. Okay. We've we've actually done it, guys. We have actually done it. Like, we have three craft all next to each other on the moon. This, this is absolutely wonderful. Okay. Now we can have them all bored. They have a absolute ton of electricity. And let's make sure they survive the darkness because they should have enough electricity to survive it. According to Tech Life Support, they've got 170 days worth of food, water, oxygen, and then they have nine days worth of electricity. Let's see if it's enough. Where's the sun? Okay. Speeding things up quite a bit now. Hours and hours pass. We are still on the dark side. Still on the dark side. And now we are on the light side. We... We 100% can make it. And let's go ahead and get Janlo to repair the ship. We can actually repair the broken part. Wow, look at that. We've actually done it. Like, this is a proper moon base at this point. I'd say, I'd say we have actually accomplished what we set out to do originally when I set a moon base. We've got enough supplies here. We've got enough electronics. We've got enough scientific equipment to keep going for quite a while. So the repair bay. Excuse me. Do I have to actually put things in the bay? Wait a second. Oh no. Oh. One sec. I'm curious how this works. Maybe I have to bring more parts. Oh, start conversion. Missing material kits. No! But we have spare parts. No, we've got spare parts. How? Do I need material kits? Oh, no. Okay, maybe we can't fix it from here. That's not the end of the world, though. It was a minor part that was broken. It's just gonna beep annoyingly. Which is annoying, but you know, not the end of the world. And the funniest thing is that this one, this one got the damage on the antennas from us rolling it down the moon. <laughs> Absolute meme. Oh, look at that. I mean, we, we have really uh, changed our brand look look at the success this is like next level success when it comes to our nation and the space program this this is this is actually pretty impressive okay let's get you back into the ship where you're safe and sound 
could actually probably get both of you guys back home if I wanted to. But I think that's something we'll do another day. Right now I'm happy to just have you guys safe. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. We have actually built a proper little moon base. Is it perfect? No, but you know what? I'm happy with it. it it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Hail Vuperia.